Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back for another video. This is gonna be our second Hollywood show together. Mm -hmm. First time around we met uh, Marilyn uh, Munster, uh, Pat, Pat Priest, Priest yeah. yeah. And uh, this time we're here. A I, couple people. I got yeah. my Warriors poster ready to go. Uh, Cleon was supposed to be here, one of the previous shows. Dorsey, and yeah. Yeah, and he, uh, he had to cancel for whatever reason, but he's here now. First Hollywood show appearance, so that's gonna be cool. And then Joan Collins is here. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing her from Tales from the Crypt. Dame Joan Collins. Uh-huh, yes, Yeet. Dame Joan Yeet. Collins. She's a... Uh, um, and then Day Young from Rock and Roll High School, uh, Maxwell Caulfield, and then Alan Arkin's gonna be here, uh, one of the directors of Rockland High School. So. From two to four, so we gotta yeah. wait on him, so we're hoping to get everybody else first. Yep. And uh, we hear the lines are kind of crazy, you know, the squad. Priscilla squad's, Presley, uh, yeah. Yeah, the squad's heading us up in the group chat, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we gotta get in there before it gets cray cray. Yeet, <laughs> let's go. Okay, sweet. Hey, can I get a 
quote on that? Yes, ma'am. Could you put uh, charades and pretty lies on it? Okay. Oh, very good. That's cool. I think that's an original one. I've never thought of it. We've never yeah, signed that. I love, I love charades. It's one of my favorite songs. I'll show Sweet. You. That's charming. Well, I tell you, uh, Louis St. Louis, we just lost him. He was the musical director. Oh, nice. Yeah. Louis, um, he always wanted, he loved that song too. I love that one. It's my favorite. And he wanted Dionne Warwick to do a cover of it. I wish she had. Because that's a voice. That is a voice. Am I personalizing this one? Or no? No, that's okay. Okay. Yeah. And do you want me to say anything? Uh, could you also put charades yeah. and pretty lies on that one as well? Okay, sure. I have I'm gonna get Joe on there too eventually. Right in here. Yeah, right sure. This looks like a movie poster, so. Yeah. Hey, sure. You probably might want to do it up there. So you're okay. <laughs> oh. There you go. <laughs> Very bright colors. Oh, wow. Oh. Look at that. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. Wow. Where'd you get this? I got it from a vendor at another show that I went to, and I, his signature's right there, but I forgot his name. But all I know is this was his last one that he had, and he gave me the display one. Oh, my yeah. God. Look how cool that is. I know. Is. I love it so much. Oh, my God. It's coming up. It's coming along really well. So, do you want me to sign black? Yeah, go ahead and do black. Do you, do you have a favorite line from the movie? Go ahead and surprise me. No pizza for you. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. <laughs> Where do you want me to sign up here? Uh, yeah, sign right up here. Where do you want me to sign by Alan? Yeah, go ahead and sign down there. That's perfect. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that was dark over here. That's running out of ink. One of them is running out of ink. Oh, I don't know. 
Okay. Is it mine? It was black? I don't know. I don't have oh, another I'm sorry. Yes, I'm out of breath, first of all, because, you know, walking is Park the car. pretty far. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, we ain't about that. Watch out for the pole. Parking, okay? <laughs> we ain't about that painful parking, okay? But uh, first time we've ever bought a big old frame. Mm -hmm. And uh, how apropos that it's kind of like drizzling, you know, raining. Because, uh, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> we got that. Looks like we're going to be singing in the rain. Oh my god. <laughs> Just singing. Okay guys, we're in the new bedroom and uh, laid out the Warriors poster here as you guys can see. And the main objective for this Hollywood show was Dorsey Wright, who of course played Cleon. I had him write uh, the iconic line, I want everyone to know the Warriors were there. He was actually supposed to be at one of the last shows where they had a, you know, full, like, um, well, close to full Warriors uh, reunion. But something came up. He had to cancel. So uh, they made this show his first appearance. So, yeah, got him to sign right there. And as an added bonus, uh, Bonnie Mannix, she signed right there. She was the costume designer for the Warriors. So had to get her. Uh, on the poster, you know, we were there. Why not? Uh, I mean, part of the reason we we had a long conversation with her. Part of the reason why this film is so iconic is because of, you know, the costume design. I mean, she designed everything. Every single gang you see in the film, all their uh, patches, you know, every logo, everything. Like, legit. So, um, yeah, we had to show her some love and uh, get her on this poster for us, so... There you guys go. Alright, so uh, Reyna brought her rock and roll high school poster that uh, she got. Where did we get this again? We got At, it uh, from an artist named Mitch O'Connell from Monster Palooza last year. Um, this was his last one that he had. I don't know if he's making this anymore. I haven't seen it on his website. Um, he's usually at Monster Palooza. Um, there's his signature right there, actually. He signed it for me. Mm -hmm. um, so his name is Mitch O'Connell. I feel really bad the first time we did a video for this, I think. I I forgot his name. So um, it's Mitch O'Connell. If you just Google him, it, his website should come up. Um, we finally got more signatures on this piece relatively fast. Uh, we got Day Young, who played Kate Rambeau right here. Mm -hmm. uh, her signature came out really nice. Super sweet. Um, and then they had some added bonuses. They actually had the director show up right mm -hmm. here. Alan Argush, and then they had the writer show up, which was really random because we were not expecting yep. any of that. And then we already have Clint right here, sign up on the side, and then we have PJ right here, so sign right there. Yep. Um, my only wish with this poster is I wish it had more of the, uh, like, I wish it had Kate's character on it. 
um, but it's supposed to be like a mystery date, um, you know, thing. So hopefully if I get Marky, we'll get him right here. Uh, we'll get Joe downtown at next. Um, and then we will probably, I mean, we could try to get Dean Kundi. I don't know if that's ever going to happen, but, hopefully. um, you know, there's a couple other people I would, I need on here, but, um, so far it's looking really good and I've only had this poster not even a year yet. So no. yeah. and ignore, uh, ignore that squeaking in the background. Our yeah, dog, our, our dog's going crazy. <laughs> yeah. He's going around over there with his squeaky toys. But, uh, anyway, yeah, there you guys go. We got this all signed up and, uh, hopefully get a few more signatures. Hopefully. All right, so Reyna is a huge fan of Grease 2. So, of course, when I told her Maxwell Caulfield was going to be at the Hollywood show, she you, you can imagine she got super excited. Yeah, I feel like he's... I mean, I know he's been there before, apparently. He's but been I've there a few times, yeah. I've seen him at any show, so I was, like, super stoked. Um, I had my Eraserhead shirt on, and then we started talking about David Lynch. Um, he told me a really sweet story about him and his wife, um, about how they met on the production of The Elephant Man, um, the play. Um, so super sweet, but I got two autographs because one is for my best friend. Uh, we bond a lot over Grease too, like we do Rocky Horror Picture Show. So I had him write, uh, Charades and Pretty Lies from the song Charades. Um, and then I like the way he did it on this one too. He actually wrote it on like, yeah, I lights. thought that, I was not expecting that. That's actually a nice little touch. And then this photo right here, I was actually lucky because he didn't have us at his table. He was going through like a pile of stuff he just had next to him. And he put it out, and I was like, I wanted this one because that's Michelle Pfeiffer right here. It was one of her first roles. Yep. Um, so he was super nice, um, more than I ever could have imagined. Um, so now I have him and Nagarelli, and then hopefully we'll get more Grease 2 cast or even Grease cast. I would love to meet, you know, Didi Khan and everything, but we will see. She just um, loves Grease. I, yeah, I love Grease, <laughs> but Grease 2 is, like, really, really heavy in my heart, um, even though, like, Grease I grew up on. Uh, yep. And then we also got these cool mm. buttons. These are from 1996 when James and the Giant Peach, I believe, first came out. I'm mm -hmm. not sure if these were promos. Um, it was a full set of six, yeah, from 96. Um, and I haven't seen these as a full set anywhere else. This is the first time I've ever seen these. So I knew I had to get them. I'm a huge um, James and the Giant Peach fan. <clears throat> and I just, yeah, I really, really can pass it up. I love the stop motion. Um, same director. As Night Before Christmas, Henry Selleck. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I'm happy to have that in my collection. I almost got a poster, but then Amy ended up getting it, um, which is kind of a good thing because, you know, cons, they get expensive. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. But um, uh, anyway, there you guys go. All right, guys. So <laughs> that's going to do it for this Hollywood show video. As you can see, we already got the uh, Singing in the Rain Posters post up, with, finally uh, with Gene Kelly up there. Yep. Love it. Mm -hmm. It was like a last minute thing too while we were coming out. The Hollywood show was actually selling it through them. So yeah, it was that was the first time I've ever bought like a frame. The frame, frame was frame actually pretty con. pretty heavy. Um, oh, it was. Yeah, that video I was not. Yeah. I mean, it's not like it was a hundred pounds, but you know, it was. It had to. If you're holding it for a while, it starts yeah. getting heavy. No. Excuse my dog's little nose. He's yeah, trying he's, to get in the video. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's the squeaking you guys heard by the yeah, way. Yeah, this is Thor. <laughs> um, but yeah, we had a lot of fun. The next one's going to be in June, and, and then there's actually going to be a third show this year. It's going to be one in October. Yeah, I wasn't expecting so that. That's usually just cool. like two. Yeah, I don't know if it's maybe because they're not, I don't know if they're doing another Vegas one. They don't have any information up on Vegas, so. We, no, it's, I think it's LA. It's three in LA. No, well, I know. I'm saying maybe second. the reason why they're doing a third one is possibly because they're not really doing one in Vegas anymore. I don't know. Oh, oh you're right. Good point. I don't know. Did not think of that. But uh, anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Hopefully, they get some cool guests for the next Hollywood show. Uh, we'll see. And thank you guys, as always, for watching. And we'll see you guys for the next video.